Thank you, Rance. Yes, wedding season is in full swing, and actually 40% of proposals will happen between now and I believe it's February. So for words of affirmation and love abounding, and their guest, Anna Claire Hodge, is here with us to showcase a service that might help with wedding planning, writer's block. So Anna Claire, first of all, I have heard so many wonderful things about you as a writer. You have a phenomenally rich background, so I'm really excited to chat with you today about this custom writing service that you've created. Yeah, Jana, thank you so much for having me. So I was feeling some writer's block after some taking some time away from being a professor at UNF. I felt like my own writing was suffering. So I decided to offer custom love poems for Valentine's Day this year, and it really took off. The response was more than I expected and now it's turned into a whole business and I love the fact that you took something that you were truly passionate about you know you you hit a little bit bit of a roadblock but were able to refresh that on your own and the process that you've created is very simple I went to your website because I had to understand how you actually do this because poems are so personal and writing for someone else for their occasion for their voice is so unique so walk us through what that looks like yeah so it's actually very simple uh, once someone contacts me they tell me who they want the poem to be for, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's a uh, loved one, bestie, whomever, and I send them a Google Doc that they fill out. It's a questionnaire with things as simple as what's their favorite food or what's your love story. Then I weave it all together and I turn it into a custom poem that's one of a kind. And we were talking, you know, a little bit before we got on camera and just mentioned that sometimes gift giving is so tough. I mean, I know my go-to is a gift card or a candle or a manicure mm. or something like that. But if you really want to stand out, especially if you're not wanting to add stuff to someone else's space, but you want to add love to their heart, this is a really beautiful way to do it. Exactly. People are trying to cut down on clutter. They want less things. Well, what's better than the thing? It's words that express how you feel, even if you don't feel comfortable expressing them yourself. That's what I'm here to do. You know, I thought this was a great hack, especially if you're looking to really wow when it comes to your vows, but you want a little bit of help and yes. support because, you know, this isn't this isn't the only kind of writing you do. I saw that you also do professional writing. You offer classes. She can also help and teach you. I mean, for birthdays, Father's Day, anything like that. It's a really unique and special experience and gift. Exactly. So this was inspired really by my wedding. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got engaged last year, I knew exactly which poems, which readings I would want to be included because I'm so imbued in the poetry community. Right. But then I thought, what do other couples do? And what do you think they do when they want to find readings for their wedding? G Google it. That is exactly. Google, 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 like what to read yes. at a wedding I, I or like, a or like wedding readings that make you cry. <laughs> no, exactly. But the problem with that is that it's the same poems, the same right. readings coming up every time. They have very little to do with the couple themselves. They're not, you know, for the couple. They're kind of sometimes corny, cheesy, and overdone. So what I do is give them something custom because doesn't every, it's the most intimate you know, special day of their lives and their yeah. readings deserve to be that special as well. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that. Now you actually have a poem that you said you wouldn't mind sharing no, with us. No, so I'd, I'd love to read could it. Could we hear a sample of the Anna Claire yes, prose? Yes, sure. So this was commissioned by um, uh, Carrie Wilson Makeup, who we know and love for her husband her. for Valentine's Day. Um, and they are very into gambling. So this is called Snake Eyes Means One and One. As long as there is bourbon and dice to be thrown, will put our records on. The eighth notes in my tattoo will lift from your arm and snake your neck because danger can lead to safety. Like the first date at a gun range and weddings soon after. Who can tell us how to live? Tomorrow morning, you'll fold my shirts and I'll remember that devotion isn't prayer on bent knees. It's returning again and again to the work of love. To sear steak, pluck stems from mushrooms, to feed me. Daylight wanes in the winter, and in the dark, you can't see shiny cars. Instead, the blaze of Christmas lights you hang each year to make our home, as if one could, more beautiful, like the rainbow of neon on the Vegas Strip. Every bulb blinks your name. Wow, oh my gosh, that was beautiful. Thank and you. if you know Carrie, she's 
such 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 a great rock and roll glam queen. So, she is. so I absolutely adore that. I think that. it sums up their love story perfectly. It does. I was sitting here, I'm just like, this is beautiful. So thank Anna you. Claire, thank you so much for sharing that with us. If we want to connect with you, if we want to go ahead and get a hop on the holiday mm -hmm. season, because I know this is going to be it's a hit. It's filling up quickly. Yes. yes. What, what should we do? Where should we so, go? So AnnaClaireHodge.com is my brand new website that launched it talks about all of my services and it helps you get started quickly. You can also follow me at Anna Claire Hodge on Instagram. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, Rand. Pretty high bar to set here. <laughs>